All right, good morning, fellas. Hey, what we're doing is came back last night from the Nova Open, and I'm going to show you why it's important for you to not just play at home, not just play at the game stores, and to go out there and compete in semi-formal conventions, especially for some of these newer games where nobody has any experience. So we're going to talk about some stuff, right? So we flew into D.C., woke up super early, like... I left at midnight, so I didn't even go to sleep. Power nap two hours on the plane, got there, shuttle there, boom, right into my first tournament, right? But before I could do any of that, I checked in, and I picked up my swag bag. So I paid a little extra. I paid about 70 bucks extra, and I'm going to show you um, why it's amazing. And I got upgraded because a person from Canada or something missed his flight, so then they upgraded me for an extra 50 bucks, and I ended up being their VIP swag bag at the end of the convention, right? And we're going to talk about a couple things and what I ended up walking away with. All total at the event now, all total after registration, I probably paid about 200-ish to register and get in all the tournaments and everything. I played tournament every single day, some days too. And my VIP swag bag and the regular swag bag, which they let me keep because they were awesome about it. And going and playing demos and everything, I'm gonna show you everything that I came home with. I had to pay for extra bags on the way home, all right? So this is critical, all right? So here we go. So first off, you get the traditional Nova Open swag bag, right? Inside this swag bag had another swag bag, kind of like a laptop carry case. My son already grabbed it, right? But if you already notice, bags, printing, we're already getting up there in value, right? On top of that, when they upgraded me, I came up with a KR case, right? And we're talking 100. Easy. 100 easy. Right? And there were some other things, right? So they got these... Coffee cup and mug, which I'm sure you're not really interested in seeing, right? But they're localized, and if you took the cup and went up to the bar, which I had one from the other year, right? You get a buck off their beer up in the the bar from the tap. So it pays for itself. Official Nova Open t-shirt, right? On the house, free. Yeah. A pocket flask, right? Would have been nice if they filled it, but they didn't. So you can walk around, right? Sterilized shot glass, right? So a lot of the swag has their name on it, right? In the beginning. Cool collector's coin, Nova Open. Different on the other side, Washington, D.C. Pretty cool, right? Cromlech tossed in one of these little measuring devices. Didn't really need to use it, but I think it's like an X-Wing one. 40K players. Like a massive counter now that they're using for everything. Broken Egg Games, another measuring system for one of their games. The uh, mini duels, another measuring system. There's kind of like a hardened plastic of laser cut. Uh, custom Nova Open dice, right? A official Nova Open laser pointer, right? So it's probably not gonna see it on here, but you know it has a laser pointer. Infinity, don't play the game. Another guy gave me another miniature port. So it comes with the action card and the actual miniature in it, right? Pretty significant. The Horus Heresy Redemptor, all right? All right, so it's a contemptor. You know, when people get their feelings or I don't care. It's still, even if you went on eBay, you're paying like 30 bucks for it. Still brand new in the box, right? But then, there was another one. And not only was there another one, but then taped to it was a box of Terminators. So that was like way over $100 value right there, right? And then peeling in. Convention only miniature, right? Don't know anything about it. I'm not even sure where I could use it, but it'll it'll get it'll get worked in somewhere, right? Warlord games, tossing in some sprues of miniatures, right? I mean, come on now. BMD, right? So Black Marine Designs, um, support a bunch of other events. Actually, it was part of his his polling thing that he did about um, six months a year ago on, hey, I want to make business cards out of PDF. What do I do? And I was like, you know, make a piece of terrain people can use, make a crate. Everybody needs scatter train, and he took it and he actually did. So it's pretty, it's significant to me to be able to see that he's doing this and passing that out, and it's pretty awesome. Put up a book, yeah. Uh, but it's a book, and it's free, right? Another book, totally free. This one covers spell, so pretty cool. Dark Age, uh, Dark Age was taking that place by storm. So it, East Coast is pretty significant. I don't, I don't know, it's an action card, but you know, again, free inside the bag. World War Games kicking in. Another thing, Gates of Beyond the Gates of Antares, right? I think this is the supplement to the Gates of Antares. 
Um, it's kind of like their sci-fi version, 40k, but with the same action dice as like bolt action stuff. Pretty cool. Um, so these, right? These come based on the, the tournaments and everything you're in, and I actually gave away one to a newer player because he wanted to take it home and he didn't have a rule book yet. But it breaks down. It's got like all the adverts inside for the supporters and stuff, and then it also has a schedule in there, the floor plans, and then the basic rules per tournament, per round stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's a very professional layout, right? And then... All types of these little adverts, discounts, magazines, brochures, from everybody. So not just no Volvin Power Play, Fallout Hobbies, gift cards, Gamers Grass, who I introduced to the Nova Open, um, Course Bell, everybody knows them, Secret Weapon, it's got a discount code right on right, probably shouldn't show Protoss Games, cool guys, Anvil Games, they actually um, had a really cool card game that was on display there at the same time. And uh, minis aren't part of the card game. The card game is about like blowing up your neighbors or something. It's pretty cool. But then they also have a full miniature line. A magnet to put on the calendar so you go next year. So who's going next year? Huh? I'm going. What is this? Hmm? Hmm? That's the next win card, right? And those are the things I like you only can get at these certain events, right? So then it's a 3D printed X Wings, right? And I don't know. I got two. It was just special, right? The uh, Alien versus Predator. And man, they had this. Beast of a machine there that like cut away roof came out opened everything it was impressive. Um, so these fellows were actually there. Some of you know them, Mini Wargaming. They were there. Got to play some demos with them with bolt action. Another one nobody wanted it, so I took it. Another one nobody wanted it. I mean it's free tufts. You know it's free tufts. Another X Wing card, same thing. Dark Age again, hitting right. And believe it or not, look I flew into DC and I flew back. So a lot of the little things, I just had to get rid of. I couldn't take with, right? So the first tournament that I entered, and what I'm saying by the whole I couldn't take with is I, I had to leave a lot of stuff there, and I just gave it to attendees who didn't get swag bags and stuff, and they were shocked. Like, I literally handed a whole bag, no open bag, label with stuff, and I was like, here, you know, there was a whole bunch of other companies in there that I, I just don't personally purchase from, and I gave them all these gift certificates, some up to like 20%. Some of the prizes I won were gift certificates for 25 30% for companies that I'm not going to use, right? So I ended up playing the uh, first day there, Conflict 47, right? And I got paired up against two dudes that are demo guys for WG. And I still took top, right? So then they tossed on top, they would give one of the, uh, some of you may have participated, you know, their little online campaign that was recent, right? So the plaque, I'm pretty sure, is from Nova Open coin was from WG and then because not only did I win but I beat those that are supposed to be teaching you how to play the game I got a full K-47 German army this is like even if I go for like magic sales online I'm going 80 bucks on this thing and retailing it is 114 Amazon's like 185 I mean it's it's a it's a full up army in a box there's some light there right full up army in a box because I went in there and played some games for fun. It cost me 10 bucks to play those games. But you never get away with stuff like that, right? Stuff never happens. It's always a good day, right? So then I played in another tournament, playing bolt action, which is why I was really there. Really the reason why I paid all this money to fly down there, get a hotel and everything, right? Tie for first place. It went to the allies guy because he had a couple more attrition points. So I pulled top axis. I'm happy with that. I mean, I... My first game was against the Ohio district guy, the guy who runs the Ohio group. So the guy running the Missouri group against the guy running the Ohio group, it was phenomenal, and he was on point and gave me a good run. Pulled a minor win. He got a major win the next time. I got a minor win the next game. There was a couple guys there that weren't all on their roster and kind of doing some weird stuff. Like you could tell they were kind of newer. And so we made some interesting stuff. And then my last game, super hard game where I – all my dudes have to arrive, and I have to take all three objectives away from the enemy, and they pretty much started on top of them. And I almost, almost came to a draw, you know, but it, it, I just couldn't do it. So, um, great guy, Ohio, he ended up winning. Well-deserved by points, right? So I win this, and because, hey, you know, the way they do it, it's not like you win, this, this is your prize you get to pick, right? So on top of that, boom, they gave me another German tank. Still got a price tag on there, 32 bucks, right? I paid, I paid 10 bucks to play this game. So then I'm walking around outside of their store, 
And this is when I actually finally start spending money on something other than food. And I'm like, look at this. Like, a werewolf and female wolf and SS. Like, I've seen this online a couple times, and every time it's sold out, I can never get them, right? But while I'm sitting there talking to the dude at the booth, he's like, hey, why didn't you come down to Oklahoma for Warlord Games Day? And I'm like, oh, man, I, I, you know, I was busy working, whatever, couldn't do it. He's like, you should came. We would love to have you out there. And so he's like, I got something for you. He goes, gets me one of these dice. He shows it to me. He's like, hey, I had these custom made for the con. And this dude's a volunteer. You know, he just volunteers with Warlord Game. He's not getting paid for the stuff. He travels around playing games because he likes to. And he gives me one of these custom dice. I'm like, these are cool, you know, because, like, everybody does it. So the Nova Open does it, right? And they give it to you and they sell them on site, right? But I'm like, these are really bad. You know, he's like, well, you use them? Oh, yeah, I'll use them. So then he gives me a whole bunch of them, right? And he's like, put them on the table and play them so everybody knows we exist. So, for no reason, the dude gives me probably like a $15 set of dice, right? So then, um, so there was a lot of alcohol. I can't remember what day it actually was. So Saturday, right? They have this, yeah, because I was pretty hurt and turned the tournament. So Saturday, they have this uh, charity event up in the lounge. Bring my little beer mug up there, dollar off every draft. Every draft you buy gets you a ticket into this thing, right? So I'm sitting there. And I'm hanging out at the door, and I'm talking to a couple of the Warlord Games guys who have come down for ClawCon and stuff, and talking to a couple of the other people, Mini War Game, all these other dudes, sitting there with the, the caster from Footsore Miniatures, who has been casting every single one of their miniatures, right? And they get to, like, every 15 minutes, they're pulling the ticket out of this this big glass um, raffle ticket case, and everybody that's buying a drink, no matter what it is, you get a ticket, right? Well, a couple guys were coming up there from other tournaments, and they're like, hey, we can't stay, and you got to be there to win. Here's my tickets, right? So I'm like five, six beers in, and I got like 30 tickets. And they're pulling prizes every 15 minutes. So like on turn four, I win a, fit, a foot sore, early Saxon. It's a full-up army. They play at four points for a full warband, right? And they'll expand to bigger games at six points. But it's a whole army, and it's like a over $100 value. And I got it for having a couple beers and hanging out. I was literally talking to the guy who was casting the stuff. It wasn't like I had seen him working down there at the booth or whatever before I was looking. Didn't know he was the one who was literally sculpting the stuff by hand. Pouring it into the cast because I got one set in the one location in the UK and one here in the, in the States. And he's literally the guy behind the madness here in the States. Sculpting by hand these miniatures. And then putting them to the cast, the furnace, and mass producing them on this side of this. It's just... Phenomenal conversations I had with this guy, and then I end up walking away. This is one of his early, um, one of his early series. Like he worked on these, and he was all like talking to me, all proud. It was an awesome moment, right? So I win this hundred dollar army. So of course, then I have to go spend a couple bucks, right? So we're gonna come back to the the raffles in a minute. But I go downstairs the next morning, and I buy this, right? And I'm like, hey man, now that I won this army, I need some archers. So he gives me some archers, right? He doesn't give me, he sells them to me, right? Like, I also need a rule book. So I'm like, how much is it? And the rule book is like 20 some bucks. You can see this already says 28. He's like, you're the guy that won last night that we talked with, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, 40 bucks you get. Okay. So I got like 15 bucks saved right there, right? Then I open up the minis and I was like, oh man. So the weapons are not with the figures. It's like a booster set. Didn't know that, right? So I contacted the guy this morning. I'm like, hey, I looked at your miniatures. I need some swords and some spears. Because you get to kit them how you want. You can choose. So you buy those little booster kits for it. And he's like, brother, I got you. And he's sending them to me for free. And I asked. I practically begged this guy to pay for it. And he's like, no, I got you. Here you go. Awesome, dude. So, like, fully kitting me out. No problems. So then we're still sitting up in the lounge. And I'm talking with the Warlord Games guys, their demo team that travels the states, and a couple other artists that I intermixed with earlier that night. And boom, they pull another ticket, and I straight win a Samurai Test of Honor. Right? And it's a full game system, thirty plus figures, like thirty six figures inside of it. Comes with a mat, random activation draws, kind of similar to both action, a little difference like on the chip basis. Simply amazing. Simply amazing. Plastic kits in there so you can decide if you want to make them, whether or not they're spears, whether or not they're with the rifles, whether they're bows or samurai, right? Amazing. And what made this amazing, right, was earlier that day in between my tournaments, 
I played a demo game. And they gave me a samurai. And he comes with this little upgrade card and everything. It tells you how many attacks and everything he has. Just for playing the game. So they gave me like a $15 miniature for playing a demo there, right? So before I could leave, I packed up all my bags. And I was like, I got room for one more thing, right? I'm already paying for an extra bag. So I went down there and I was like... I went down there looking for a samurai that I found online that rides this horse. And well, they didn't have it, right? They can't have everything all the time. And the few they had had probably sold out the first day. And so instead, I bought this whole set. And again, it's multi-plastic, so I can choose if they're spearmen. And this one guy, they said, is, is pretty much that's what you can do with them. But the spearmen, you can choose if they're archers or not. But this is like an entire third crew. Like, you can play them independent of the other two. And they were running a sale. So I didn't even pay 24 bucks for technically what is an entire army. For an entire game system with the rules and everything that I need to play that I got for free. So, the whole time I was there, including all my meals, which run for like 10 bucks a piece, I got all types of insane stuff, right? And I paid less than 150 bucks the whole weekend. So I was able to put some money into the charity raffles. It was amazing. You need to go next year. See you there.